Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are focusing on homemaking. I want to get things cleaned up and just give my home a little extra love, but I also have a ton of recipes. Well, not a ton, I think I have three recipes, but I do have a ton of food prep that I wanna get done in the kitchen. And I also wanna clean out my fridge because it's gotten away from me. So we have a lot to get done today. Let's get into it. So clearly you can see I had a lot of work ahead of me on this day, but I'm just kind of starting out taking things one step at a time. And because we had that random clean bedding in the middle of our kitchen, I wanted to get that kind of pushed out of the way first. So that was actually just from having a guest stay. My mom and sister came to stay with us over Thanksgiving break. And then they also stayed a little bit after that. So that was so, so much fun to have them. I absolutely love having family come stay with us and just getting to spend time with everybody. But once they were gone, we went ahead and just kind of cleaned everything up. And that clean quilt was kind of the last bit of actually cleaning up after everybody had left. And also I wanted to share this room spray. It is just a DIY room spray that I made. I didn't end up adding anything to it other than just literally water and then some peppermint essential oil. You can add in whatever kind of essential oil as you like, but this has been amazing and I've been using it all over our house everywhere all the time. It just smells so, so good. Once I got the bed made, I just moved back into the kitchen to kind of focus on the obvious messy area in the house. is crisper the air is on fire sun burns your cheeks like the red with desire i found you right when summer went away now i want december to stay tell me your favorite christmas songs i'll only agree if it is nothing cold chestnuts may be roasting by open fire but i take a sweater beside you we have yet <laughs> to decorate our Christmas tree. It's been crazy here because my mom and sister were just in town. They have now gone back home. So hopefully this weekend we'll be decorating the tree. But until then, it actually looks pretty fun because we have the colored lights that can also go just like white, but I'm loving it. It's time to take the horse Me and all my friends go all out, all out Get the red carpet and ball out Let's get this Christmas party started And gather around the tree Dressed in red and green Mix the cocoa, pop some bubbly Cause I can feel it in the air It's This is so incredibly random, but you can see I'm kind of pulling out these little bits of cardboard and this is actually a cat scratching box. I love it because as you can see, it kind of has more cat scratching bits in the bottom of it. And as your cats will scratch in it, you can just remove those pieces, flip them over. And I feel like you get five of those pieces in there. So you end up getting 10 uses out of it. One of the questions that I get so often is how we keep our cats from scratching on our furniture. And we are absolutely 
not perfect at that because I'm sure if you've been here for a while, you've seen some cat scratches on our furniture. However, this has been one of the things that helps the most is actually just keeping a nice scratching post or scratching area kind of next to the furniture. That way they have a good option when they feel the need to scratch. an ant farm for his birthday and he has been loving watching him like build a tunnel. My brother-in-law was here when we got him. The adults kind of helped Liam put it together and it was so funny because all the boys like including the two grown adults were sitting here just so interested in these ants and like what they were doing. It was so funny but I'm going to find a better spot for all of Liam's bug stuff other than our kitchen counter. <laughs> I feel like that last little statement just sums up being a boy mom. We are actually done having kids. We are not having any more, but we all the time just get asked if we're planning on having another kid or if we're going to be trying for a girl because we do have three boys. And honestly, I just feel like I would be so lost at this point having a girl. I am just so deep into the boy mom life that I just, I don't even know what I would do with myself. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill. A few months ago, I had kind of struggled with this rug. I really love it in here. It gives you a little comfort on your feet when you're standing in the kitchen or cooking. And I also just think it looks really pretty. I was struggling with it shifting around the kitchen a lot. And so I had gotten this little pad, as you saw underneath the rug, and that was meant to keep this rug in place without actually like attaching it to the floor because I still am able to pull the rug up to mop underneath and all that stuff. And I feel like it worked pretty well for a while. And then as it got used and kind of messed with here and there and moved, it just started to not work as well. And so I found these little grippers and they have been working so much better. They had really really good reviews so if you have a rug especially a smaller rug just because that's what I'm testing them out on I would recommend them a lot they don't actually stick to the ground like you're not gonna have any residue you can pull them up as needed but they really kind of create like a little section to the ground and so it's been keeping our rug perfectly in place ever since putting it down also this has nothing to do with my little rug grippers but I did want to mention I do have a giveaway going on I'm going to be giving away $100 to one of you this is international so no matter where where you live you can definitely enter all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and then leave a comment on these videos that i'm putting up on the screen right now and i will have all the information and details on this down in the description box as well as in my pinned comment but that giveaway is ending very soon so definitely make sure that you don't miss out on getting entered This is so random, but this is my little tip for when you're wearing a ponytail. You just grab a little claw clip and you can clip it back behind towards the top end of your ponytail and it will give your ponytail height and volume, which is awesome. But it also keeps it in place so you're not having to constantly tug on your hair and tighten your ponytail. It just keeps everything in place. So that's my random tip of the day. But also I wanted to ask you guys if you have any ideas on like how to put up your hair. I feel like so many girls do such cute little hairstyles and 
I just end up doing either braids or a little ponytail or something simple. So if you have a certain way that you do your hair that you love, let me know in the comments or tag me on a post over on Instagram or something. I would just love to get some new hairstyle ideas and something preferably very simple and quick. What is your sink cleaning routine or do you have one? Do you clean it every day? Do you clean it multiple times a day? Do you never clean it or just tackle it once a week? And also what products do you use? For me, I will typically clean our sink like this at least once a day. I would say usually once a day. Usually I don't do more than that, but occasionally I will if I'm like on top of my game, I guess. And I do kind of change up the different products I use. Sometimes I'll use the pink stuff. Sometimes I use a Scrub Daddy Tangerine Cleaner or Bon Ami, but my go-to is just regular good old soap. Dawn dish spray is like my favorite. I just love that it suds it up and it's very simple to do. But when I'm thinking I want like a little bit more of a deeper clean, then that's when I'll bring out the other stuff. Christmas is knocking outside our door. Let's let it all in. Children have been waiting. They can't wait for the festivities to begin. So I just wanted to shout out that my last video that I shared was actually a full kitchen makeover from start to finish. If you are somewhat new here, you might not realize that we actually have not had this kitchen in our house for super long. It was just a couple months ago that we finished our full on kitchen makeover. We did keep the cabinets and things like that, but we refreshed everything. We did a ton of DIYs. And now honestly, our kitchen just looks nothing like it used to. So I'm gonna link that video up here in the iCards as well as down in the description box. So you can go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But it was really cool to just see the entire process from start to finish in one single video and just kind of watch it all transform. It is a new day and I did not get as much done as I was hoping to yesterday. However, it's fine. We're starting with a clean slate today. I do want to go through the fridge and I don't think it'll take me too long because I'm going to be very intentional and just trying to kind of rush myself through it a little bit just to get that done because I feel like the fridge is a place where you can really spend a lot of time or you can knock it out pretty quickly, but for me at least, like I have to stay very focused. So that's what we're gonna do today. I do have a new grocery order in there that I just went ahead and put away. So we're going to have a lot of produce to prep out, which is perfect. It'll help with like healthy eating and all that stuff, especially during the busy holiday time. And then I also have some amazing recipes that I wanna share with you guys. And I'm also going to share what we're making for dinner tonight. It's baked potatoes, nothing crazy, but this is like the best, most delicious baked potato you will ever have. And you can make it super quick and easy. So we have a lot to get done. Let's do this. Don't let it slip away now. Got your blessings. It's easy when you know how. Looking for the future forward. 
Star constellation, you know I'm shining brightest. So I got that motivation. I look to you, uh, you show me that trust. It's not a win less. We both are moving up, yeah. Living that legends, keeping it fresh. Got a good feeling, gonna make it last. Cause you So like I had mentioned, my mom and sister were here and it was even during the holiday time, like during Thanksgiving. And so we had a lot of food in our fridge and a lot of the things that we had were actually from my mom and sister purchasing them. And some of the items were not things that our family will ever use. So I feel like the old me would have just kind of left them in there in case if someone came to visit again and wanted to use them or in case if maybe I decided I would use those products. And this time I just decided I'm going to remove everything that we're not actually going to use. And I won't necessarily throw everything out, but anything that I can give to my neighbors, I'll go ahead and do that. Anything that's expired, or if something's empty, I'll empty that out. And so I'll kind of go over everything in just a minute, but you'll see I ended up removing a lot from our fridge that was really never gonna get used. ago I actually changed up how we so stored everything in our fridge and how we organized it and it's been working really well I ended up actually storing everything in bins up here and I've really liked that like so we have all our condiments and everything in bins so I can just pull down a bin and get what I want however I just feel like we still have way too many condiments I think we only use specific ones so I'm just gonna go through and see what ones we can actually get rid of Over the past couple months, I have been working on decluttering our house. I've actually been sharing this in a series that I have going on called Declutter Your Home. And so far I have decluttered my office, our guest bedroom, our kitchen, our closet, and now most recently our garage. And I feel like it's actually given me a big mindset shift. I kind of chat about different things and all my feelings and all the things I've learned about it in those videos. But I've actually been noticing that I've been pulling aspects that I've learned from that and kind of my mindset shift in that into other areas of my life. For example, the condiments. It feels so good because we are getting rid of a ton of condiments and normally I would just keep them, but I'm going a little bit more minimal on condiments and things like that, just like I'm doing with the rest of the areas in our home. Look at the difference of how it looked before. All I did right here was just add in a couple of organizers that I already had in our home and it just looks so much better. And also I've noticed that we're starting to go through the fruit a little quicker ever since doing this, just because it's more pleasing to the eye and you can also just see exactly what you have and what you're grabbing for. And this is so random, but I always get questions about that little blue apple looking thing whenever I share it in my videos. But basically that just goes into your produce drawer and it's able to help prolong the life of your produce. But another thing I did when I cleaned out our fridge was to actually move our veggie drawer back up to the top part of the fridge. I thought I had a great idea in like moving it down to the bottom area. However, it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. And I feel like I've just noticed a lot more of our veggies have been going bad because we're not grabbing for them. This right here is everything that I'm decluttering from our fridge, which I know sounds a little bit different to say you're decluttering your fridge, but I feel like whenever I clean out my fridge, I never think of it as a declutter. I just think of, you know, I'm taking out anything expired and I'm cleaning it up. But this time I did think of it as a declutter and it felt amazing. And I also feel like this has actually helped me want to buy less at a time. And I feel like that's just going to make our fridge feel a lot more simple and easier to find things. And I also think it's gonna help us waste less.
All right, now that we have our fridge all cleared out, we are gonna go ahead and make some taco soup. Taco soup, enchilada soup, whatever you wanna call it. You could make this for a dinner. I'm actually just gonna make it to have in the fridge so we can have it for lunches, for after school snacks, whatever. It's just so nice to have in the fridge. I actually have some leftover turkey because I got an extra turkey after Thanksgiving. They were for like 49 cents a pound. So I went ahead and took advantage of that. If you don't have, you know, extra turkey like that, you can go ahead and use chicken. You can make this just a vegetarian soup. You can even like bulk up on the beans, add some chickpeas, whatever you want. You can kind of go wild with the soup, but it comes together in like a matter of 30 minutes. Okay, so in this recipe, you are basically going to have like three sections of your ingredients. So first you're gonna grab a large stock pot Go ahead and heat it on like medium high heat and you're going to either use butter or some kind of oil just to saute your veggies. You'll wanna chop up your pepper, carrots, celery, onion, saute that for a few, add in the garlic, saute that for a few minutes until everything's nice and soft. Then you're going to move into your second set of ingredients and you're going to add in all of your seasonings along with your broth. I'm just using the Better Than Boyan, but you can use homemade broth, you can use like jarred stock, whatever you have. Also, you're gonna add in your tomato paste and the fire roasted diced tomatoes. This is gonna give a lot of really good deep flavor. You're going to then cook that for like 10 or 15 minutes. You want the flavors to just kind of meld together and soften all of your veggies. Then you're gonna go ahead and use an immersion blender or dump your soup into a regular blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, just be careful because it will be hot and you're going to just pulsify it. You're just going to want to make it really nice and smooth. That's what's going to make your soup taste really nice and creamy without a bunch of dairy or anything. And then once that is done, you're gonna add it back into your pot. Then you're going to add in all of your chopped chicken or turkey or add in all your extra beans. You're also going to add in like the kidney beans and black beans as well as the corn. So you have a lot of good texture in it, but you still have like that creamy base in your soup. It is so, so incredibly yummy. Turtle doves and all my favorite things come and set up too. So does love send me someone I can talk to. We'll share stories of our childhood memories of Christmas past. Chestnuts on an open fire and another love to make it last. We'll build stars, see the snowman and dance along with the Christmas band and then we'll we're going to do is make some cranberry orange baked oatmeal bites. 
These are so, so yummy. They come out like kind of cakey, but they're just perfect for like on the go breakfast. They're a great afternoon snack, or if you have like a little sweet tooth, but they are made with really good ingredients. And I just feel like cranberry and orange. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's the perfect holiday treat. Like those are some of the most amazing holiday flavors to me. Anyway, let's do this. I literally just pulled everything out for this recipe and realized the oats that I have, they are like basically steel cut oats. And I just don't know how this recipe is gonna turn out with steel cut oats. So I'm gonna have Kyle pick up some rolled oats when he is on his way back home. And we'll make this recipe a little bit later this afternoon. And then we'll actually go ahead and start prepping out all of our produce and stuff. And then we'll make this recipe and dinner later on. So real life moment, that's just what happens. So change of plans. Now we're going to instead go ahead and start prepping out produce. And I'm just starting out by kind of rinsing all of our produce and getting that all clean. By the way, I love this produce drainer. It's awesome because you're able to actually clean your produce and then in the same container, you can strain it and rinse it out. So it just saves a little bit on dishes and it also makes storing it really nice and compact just because the strainer actually nestles into the bottom dish. Now that produce cleaner that I used actually does not work any better or worse than baking soda or vinegar, but don't feel like you need to go pick it up if you have baking soda and vinegar on hand because honestly, those just work just as well. Now, when I prep my produce out, it gets eaten so quickly. Like all of these berries barely lasted us a day and a half. Whereas if I had not prepped them out, they would have just sat in the fridge for several days, I'm sure. And maybe some of them could have gone bad. So for us, it is even like a money saving move to go ahead and prep out our produce. But I would definitely recommend only prepping out what your family will actually eat. A while back, I actually started using my salad spinner to dry our produce off whenever I prep it out. And I also started laying them out to dry on these white cloths that I have. And I've just noticed that when I allow the produce to dry a little bit more, like I put a little bit more emphasis on drying everything out, it just helps our produce last so much longer. So if you're prepping and you have the time to do that, I would definitely suggest giving your produce a little bit of extra time and putting a little more effort in allowing them to dry more thoroughly because it really will make a big difference. Difference. And another quick little tip for kind of extending the life of your prepped produce is actually just to place a little piece of paper towel inside of your produce containers and that will also help to absorb any excess liquid and again just continue to prolong the life of your produce. Next up, I am just chopping up all of these veggies and this is going to be going into my own little DIY veggie trays. I love a good veggie tray from a store, but they are so expensive and I feel like you honestly don't get a ton. So I've been making these little veggie trays for at least a year, if not more. And our family loves them because the little compartments inside can actually pop out if you just want one thing or you can take the whole thing with you and then stick it back in the fridge when you're done. It's just awesome.
All right, one little tip that I have for pineapple is, you know, like that tough center piece. A lot of times I feel like people just throw it out because it's kind of too tough to eat and enjoy as normal. But what we love doing is actually sticking it in a freezer bag, just popping it in our freezer. And then whenever we're ready to make a smoothie or anything, you just stick it in your smoothie and it will completely pulverize it and it tastes so good. And then it just feels like you're doing a lot better with not as much pineapple waste. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go. And then this was kind of a random thing I decided to do on this day. Typically, I will cut up my lettuce and then stick it in my salad spinner and wash it off and rinse it and dry it and all the stuff. But today, I decided to do it like my mom does. Maybe it's actually because she doesn't have a salad spinner, but whatever. I decided to go ahead and just pull off the leaves and actually wash the leaves on their own and then go ahead and just chop them up. And then I kind of dried them in my salad spinner and I actually really loved it. I feel like it maybe went a little bit quicker and I definitely felt like the lettuce was cleaned a lot more thoroughly because I was able to get my hands on every single piece and just wash them individually. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Walmart saves the day again. <laughs> I ended up doing a Walmart delivery order and I now have my rolled oats and a few other things that we needed, not necessarily food items, but those were some Walmart. So I grabbed that. Now we can go ahead and make those delicious cranberry orange baked oatmeal. Yum. I totally forgot to show cranberries in the ingredients section. So you also need cranberries for this orange cranberry baked oatmeal. I am going to use coconut oil, but you can also use a different kind of oil. But if you are using coconut oil, just make sure to melt it first. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick. I'm just gonna melt a couple tablespoons of oil, like coconut oil, in the microwave. And this Okay, so as always, I do have the recipe cards for all the recipes popped up here on the screen. And then I also have them over on my website, which is just thiscrazylifevlog.com. So you can go ahead and check out there and see all the recipes that I've shared over the years. I don't think all of them are on there, but a majority of them are. But anyway, what you're gonna do for this is start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. And then you're also gonna grease just a nine by nine baking dish or a similar size. Then you're going to add in all of your wet ingredients so you're going to add in your eggs and melted oil, maple syrup, fresh orange juice, milk, and vanilla extract. Add that all to a mixing bowl and make sure to whisk it together really nicely. Then next you're going to add in your rolled oats, orange zest, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt and stir that well until everything is nicely combined. And then last you're going to fold in your cranberries. Then finally you're just going to transfer that batter into your prepared baking dish and you're going to bake that for about 35 to 40 minutes or just once the edges are golden and the middle is set. Now for this, you can actually go ahead and serve it immediately or do what we like to do, which is wait about 20 minutes to kind of let it finish setting up. And then you just cut and you can serve it into squares. And I'll show you in a little bit how we make a glaze that you can go on top of it if you'd like. Okay, 
we are going to make the easiest dinner. You can bulk up potatoes to be an amazing dinner. It's very low budget and super easy, especially if you make it this way. So I have some jumbo <laughs> baking potatoes. I actually learned this I think it was from my sister-in-law several years ago. We went over to my brother and sister-in-law's house and she made baked potatoes and they were just the most incredible thing ever. They were so delicious. And I was like, what in the world did you do to these? I have to know. And it was so easy, I couldn't believe it. So all we are going to do is wash our potatoes. Then you're going to want to pierce your potatoes a few times with a fork as you normally do. Then you are actually going to rub oil on your potato and that really crisps up the skin and you're also going to season it with salt all over the skin. Ugh, I cannot even explain to you guys how delicious this is. And then we're just going to cook them in the air fryer on 400 degrees for 30 minutes. But again, you can definitely do this in the oven as well. These tiny white lights, they burn bright and they're all around. I'm building a fire tonight Cause there's snow out on the ground I couldn't find a decent tree in the California drought But I flew a thousand miles and got one now It's good to be home Oh my gosh, you guys, how good does that look? So this is what we had for dinner and it was so simple and I just ended up serving it with some salad, but you can top this potato with a lot of different things. You can top it with taco meat or beans, cheese, like whatever you want, or you can kind of keep it simple like we did, but you can really bulk this up and just make it as you know unique and filling as you would like. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you are still here, go ahead and comment your favorite emoji down below and stay tuned for next week's video because I am going to be sharing a super high energy cleaning motivation and like productive vlog. I'm really excited for it. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Make sure you're subscribed if you are not already and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.